But I promise you, it'll be the single most diverse cabinet based on race, color, based on uh, gender that's ever existed in the United States of America. Joe Biden bets on a diverse administration to handle the problems of a diverse nation. This is your 2020 fix. One of the main ways Biden's picks reflect some of the promises he made on the campaign trail is that there's significant diversity in the nominees and selections so far. Many of these individuals worked with Biden previously in the Obama administration or in Congress. Some of them are new faces, but quite a few are also making history. He's tapped people from the Black community, the Latino community, the Asian American community, the Jewish community, the LGBT community, all groups that historically have not been well represented at tables of power in Washington. Biden is under pressure to have the diversity of the Democratic Party and the left represented in his administration, given that he won his election with the support of establishment Democrats as well as the left. So far, most of the names that Biden has put forward are experienced professionals, and they don't come from the base of the Democratic Party as far as liberal politics are concerned. That's been of great concern to those who are outside of the Democratic mainstream and would like to see Biden support more people from their political wing. I was very excited to see Ambassador Linda Thomas Greenfield's appointment and Cecilia Rose, but I do believe there's many more positions and I certainly hope to see more African Americans in those positions at the highest level. Some have argued that this is identity politics at its worst and that the focus of the incoming transition just needs to be putting the most experienced professionals in place as possible to fix what messes Biden team believes the Trump administration made. Shortly after announcements were made from the Biden team about who would be in positions of influence in his administration, he began receiving praise from those who believed diversity was not a priority of the Trump administration. It wasn't until weeks after President Trump was inaugurated that he nominated a Latino to his cabinet, making him the first president in 20 years to have a cabinet that did not have a Latino member. He also found himself at the receiving end of criticism because at different points in his administration, his White House staff also lacked diversity. Concerns about the lack of diversity in the Trump administration have lasted throughout his presidency. And so far, White House staff picks during the Biden administration have indicated that concerns about diversity will not be as significant during his presidency. 